Hi, I'm Cynthia for Abyss Cafe and I have a very special guest today. And her name is Anne from Garden. And Anne, I'm so sorry, I cannot pronounce your last name. <laughs> Not so many you can... people can. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can do it for me. Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> like the country. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. And the first time we saw your products, Anne, we were so... How can I say? We were shocked how beautiful it was, and we were so Thank impressed. You. And uh, we thought right away, we need to have your line. It's so beautiful. And you work with enamel. Yes. Right? So can you explain first, what is enamel? I'm not sure I understand. Well, enamel is powdered glass okay. that um, in the presence of heat, 1,500 degrees in my torch or kiln, okay. uh, fuses to metal. Okay. And I primarily use uh, raw brass stampings, and um, you can use copper too, or silver, Fine. or gold. That gets a little pricey, but but, <laughs> but I primarily enamel on raw brass. Okay, Th those are beautiful. I love your colors. They're so bright and they they so uh, happy. Mm -hmm. And were you doing enamel for a long time? I mean, is that something you did? Were you an artist for a long time first? <laughs> I. I, I I think maybe I started calling myself an artist last week. I hesitated oh. to use that word. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I like to make things. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been a woodworker. I've made furniture. Oh, okay. I've made all my clothes. My mother's a, at 95 is a painter. She's painted oh. her whole life. So I just like to make things. But um, right. I um, made lamp work, beads, and... Okay. Um, then uh, I think that was about 15 years ago. I started making lampwork beads. Okay. So I had a torch. I had a good ventilation system, right. and I wanted to try and find something that I could use those tools. Mm -hmm. So I started playing with enamel. Okay. And the stampings were what I had in my studio at the time. So I started enameling on brass stampings. Okay. And. Um, then I read a book about two years later that said you can't enamel on brass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I panicked, but then I realized that I've been doing it for two years and nobody's right. called me. <laughs> so um, uh, I, was, I think I was one of the first artists by accident that started okay. enameling on brass. Okay, oh, great. Yeah, so, it, that, so the motto is don't... Don't read, just try it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yes. So do you have a favorite shape? Uh, uh, it's hard to say. You know, um, my customers guide me. Um, sometimes I'll love something mm -hmm. and they won't, you know, or it. sometimes I'll be so-so about something and and they'll love it. The, these uh, tulip caps, right. bud caps, are my best sellers by far. And probably so the um, maple leaves mm -hmm. are a close second. But um, I try and add something new all the time. Okay. You have to, um, I mean, not only to keep it fun right. and keep me interested, but also <laughs> to keep my customers interested. Right. Yes. And do you find your inspiration in books, in nature? I'd, I'd say nature. Okay. <laughs> I just went to the beach today uh -huh. um, before I came here, and I was like, okay, I'm going to use this color combo that I oh. see in nature, or yes. um, I'm starting to play with murini, which is a lamp work technique to okay. make um, a decorative glass starburst. And I saw some barnacles on the beach, and I'm going to try and make some to put on the oh, on the great. enamel. Oh, that's great! It's definitely I can see nature. You have some beautiful leaf. I love all your leaf, especially this one, this really big one. It's so beautiful. And you certainly have a lot of ferns around here. <laughs> <We> do. <laughs> no, I love nature. And then, yeah, and and I love also just your simple piece like that. Those are really beautiful. And some of them, um, they're very easy to do some embroidery around. Yes. And yes. we have a necklace in the corner there. Yes. My uh, friend Meg Mullen. Okay. Um, that was in this year's edition of uh, Bead and Button in February. We launched it in Tucson. Okay. And um, this was a filigree cab mm -hmm. that I didn't put any holes in this one because the design of the piece already had the holes in it. And Meg designed that piece. And been selling that cab for <laughs> quite a few cabs. 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to try and create in 2017 uh, a collection specific for bead embroidery <gasps> folks. Oh, I'm so happy I can wear <laughs> And bead weavers too. A bead weaving. Um, some customers, there's not a starfish out here, um, right. use the starfish and just incorporate it into the bead weaving, like seaweed and such right. coming off of the star with starfish. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. And some of your pieces, um, they're kind of a filigree uh, pieces, and um, it's really beautiful when you use another uh, brass filigree like these. Yes. Uh, these yes. Necklaces. Yes. That's um, uh, Beth uh, Botox from Cabela yes. Designs. You carry your pieces. Yes. And all you need, I mean, I my motto is easy earrings uh, or easy jewelry. Add a ear wire. Actually, I use your niobium ear wires because okay. okay. the size of the loop goes into the hole without a jump ring. Right. And then a jump ring, and you've got a finished piece of jewelry. Yeah. It's very, so. very beautiful, yes. And let me show you here also what we did. Um, here we use, um, Sherry also used two of your pieces and, mm -hmm. and she mismatched them. I think it's they're, they're really cute. So on this necklace here, I use uh, one of uh, my favorite leaves mm -hmm. and then I, I really like this dark green. And then I grab one of our um, Swarovski designer blend. Mm -hmm. And it goes so well together. And then I grab the ribbon. It's like, ah, oh, this is the perfect combination. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you feel so good when your piece come like that. I know, I know. <laughs> I get the same kind of excitement at the torch where it's like yes. a happy accident. And then I have to work backwards and figure out how I did it. <laughs> exactly. Yes. We love mistakes, right? Yes, when we, we do. can fix them. That's right. <laughs> Here also, I love also your uh, wings. I think they're beautiful. You have different color yes. of wings. Um, I'm hoping you're making some more. Oh, for sure. Okay, good. <laughs> and I and your birds. You have some very pretty birds. Yeah, I have a new too. bird actually coming out too. But that okay. is my first one. And um, I pick brass stampings that have a lot of uh, texture because oh. I I like the way the enamel falls in the nooks and crannies and shows off the texture. Right. If you do too many layers of enamel, you obliterate the design okay. of the piece. So I really try and preserve the texture of the stamping. Okay. Yeah, it looks really beautiful. And then I really love it's your bead cap. They, they came in different shape and, and different sizes. Mm -hmm. And here we have some sample. Those are really cute. That's, That's a loon design uh, made those for me. And she does beautiful copper work okay. as it, well. That's all handmade right. um, components. This is such a great idea. I love it. I, for me, I just put some um, Swarovski bead on the top. And this is really cute too. Yeah, a little briolette. Yeah, so I want to show you how to use those bead caps because they can be intimidated when you don't know. Mm -hmm. um, you see them, they're a little bigger than a normal bead cap and you say you cannot bend them. You can't, you can't bend them. I can, I put ho most of my own holes in the pieces before I enamel them and um, sometimes I'll bend the piece if I'm making a cuff. But um, after they're enameled, enamel is glass fused to metal, mm -hmm. so um, it will crack if you bend them. But I pick okay. super sturdy pieces to begin with, okay? So that um, they, I haven't touch wood gotten a call yet about <laughs> any cracking. Some sometimes a customer will say, "I tried to drill a hole in it, oh, and wow. it cracked," and I'm like, "You can't do that." <laughs> <laughs> so I send a new one, but. Uh, you know, I, I do like to pick really sturdy pieces. Right. I don't want my customers um, having their customers call and right. have problems. Yes. So quality yeah, so control great. is super important. <laughs> that's really good. So let's play a little with mm -hmm. those big cup and see what we can do. So I have here a, a pretty uh, big one, and I want to use a 12 millimeter uh, Swarovski pearl. That's a and nice pearl. Isn't it? It's beautiful uh, iridescent wow. red. Just like that already, it's really cute. But then I thought, okay, what about if I mix with another bead cap? And this is a silver bead cap. And look at the effect. It's completely different, right? Or you can put something uh, smaller. I like the copper too. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. And that is really cute too. And let's try something else, but I should put my glasses on first. <laughs> I love those bead caps too. 
and uh, let's try let's see I'm gonna take a, a bicone and see if a bicone will work so on this one as you can see is the bicone is way too small right. so I'm gonna change the bit cap and the bicone is a little too um, transparent so I want to put first a really s a small spacer put the bicone on it and then let's try this bit cap mm -hmm. is really cute that's really cute. Let's put another bit cap on top of it. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. You're so lucky like you that. All these <laughs> we can this play. Inventory available <laughs> yes. to play. That's the key. And then what about if we That's add something I love that else? Bead cap. Yeah, That's perfect. Yeah, that is so cute. So there is a lot that you can mm -hmm. do with those. Uh, that's why I love to play with it. So let's try to find something with that one. And I want to try this color. And here, this is kind of a rectangular bead. Mm -hmm. It's very really different. Well, oh, that's mm -hmm. really cute. That's really cute too. And on top, Looks I'm like going to start. House. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this time, I'm going to put a, a spacer and then maybe another spacer like that. And I mm -hmm. can put a, a third one too. That's really cute. Yes. And one thing that I realized also, um, your bit cap are great for tassels. Mm. So we have those that's tassels. really nice. And I just took a, a tweezers. Tassels. Isn't it? So that's fun too. Mm -hmm. Do they come already made up like that? Yes, they do. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'll get a I few think she's going home with some, yes. Because <laughs> I've been thinking, I, I have a, a new design, that, uh, enamel piece that I call a calla li uh -huh. lily. And oh. um, the, that would fit perfect. So Anna was looking at your earrings earlier, and we cannot really see them. Sorry, Can you show? Yeah. These ear posts were made by Pacific Silver Works. Okay. There's a simple open ring on the back, okay. and I just added one of my enamel pieces. That and is again, easy earrings is yes. <laughs> kind of what I do. Um, <laughs> I really need to learn how to make jewelry. But um, yeah, I just through these Fine. together at the show. Right. Uh, this is beautiful. It really shows that your pieces are so beautiful. You don't need much mm -hmm. actually to show them. If you want to make a simple earrings, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. It's really, uh, uh, yeah, those, your pieces are really, really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for coming and showing us all of these. I'm so happy uh, that we met. I'm so happy that you came. Yes, And I you have do. to come back. I will. <laughs> we cannot wait to see your new collection when you're yes. ready. So thank you so much for joining us today at Arby's Cafe and make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter to be the first one to see our great promotion, ideas, if you want to see Anne again. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye.